What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Diamond Armor Steve from Minecraft. Now we're going to be drawing our character facing towards the left. So let's start at the top of our page with the top edge of the head. Starting from the outside, we're just going to draw a straight angle line. Coming down and then in. Let's go back to the outside, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom edge of the helmet. And we draw that same length line on the inside. Now I'm going to work our way back towards the center of the helmet. Starting on the outside, draw a short angle line coming down and in. Do the same thing on the right. Let's go up towards the top with a short line. Now I'm going to pull that in towards the middle, leaving a gap in the center. Come down and across and line this up on the right side. Now before we finish off the helmet, let's draw on the lower half of the head. From the outside corner, we're going to step in, draw a straight line coming down towards the bottom of the head, and then we'll draw that same length line on the inside. From this point, we're just going to extend this down towards the bottom. Let's close off the bottom of the head with that same angled line. Let's go back to the inside of the helmet, draw two straight lines coming all the way down. I'm just going to pull this down towards the bottom edge of the beard. And then we'll close off the bottom. Let's line up the bottom edge of the nose with the top edge of the beard. So we're going to step out, draw a straight angle line coming across. And we'll pull that all the way down towards the bottom of the head. And then from this line, we're going to step back up, draw another straight angle line to the top edge of the nose. Now let's go in and draw on the eyes. Halfway down this line, angle down and in, and then line this up on the right. And then from the bottom corner of the helmet, we'll extend the side of the eye coming down. And we'll pull that back in towards the center. Let's split both of the eyes in half. Now we're going to add some detail to the front of the helmet. Let's connect the top corners of the eye to the straight angled line. Going back to the outside, go up towards the top. Let's stretch this out towards the side, just lining with the outside edge of the eyes. Pull that up towards the top. Let's close off the top with a straight line. And we'll add a highlight on the left side, stepping in, draw a straight line coming down. I'm also going to add a highlight on the left side. Step in, draw a short line coming down, and go back up and out. Now we're going to move up and draw on the top of the head. From this point, I'm going to angle this up and out towards the right. And then we'll draw that same angle line on the inside. All the way towards the back of the head. Connect the top and bottom with an angle line. Let's go back to that center line and draw the bottom edge of the helmet. Going up and out. Come down with a short line. Angle back up and out. We're just going to line up with that point along the top and we'll close off the side of the helmet with a straight line. And then from the bottom corner of the helmet, let's step in, draw another straight line coming down, connect the bottom corner of the head to the back with a straight line. Now we we'll draw the bottom edge of the hair. From here we're going to step out, come down, angle up and out, come down with a short line, and go all the way towards the back. And it'll trace the side of the helmet along the inside. Start with the front edge, towards the back, and then down. And then we'll add a highlight on the top left corner. Stepping up, angle up, Straight up, go across the top, and then back up. 
Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw the front of the body. From the bottom corner of the head, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the hip. And then from this point, we're gonna step over, draw that same length line. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight angled line. Let's go back up and add some detail. Leave a gap in the center, draw two short lines coming down, and we'll close off the collar. From the bottom corner of the collar, angle up and out, and then pull that straight up underneath the head. Let's go back to the inside, come straight down, angle up and out, straight down and then back out towards the side of the body. Let's add one small highlight on the bottom right. Coming down, and down and out from the top and bottom and we'll close off the side. Now we're going to draw the right arm on top of the body angled back. So halfway along the bottom edge of the head, it's going to angle this down and in towards the front edge of the body. And then from the ends, draw a straight angle line, coming down and out. Close off the end with that same line. Let's go to that bottom corner of the arm, angle down and then out. And we'll take that same length line and draw the same thing along the inside. Just pull that down to right about there, and we'll close off the bottom. And then we'll draw that same length line along the back. And then close out the bottom of the arm. Let's go back down to the bottom corner of the body. Angle is up and out underneath the arm. And then from the bottom corner of the head, we'll step in, draw a straight line coming down in behind the arm. Now that we've drawn in the shape of the arm, let's add in the sleeve. We're gonna step down, angle up, and out, and then from the inside, we'll draw that same angle line coming towards the inside of the arm. Let's add a highlight on the top right corner. Come down, angle up, and down along the side, and then back up. Let's continue working down towards the bottom of the legs. We start halfway along this bottom line, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom of the foot. And then from that bottom corner, we're gonna step back, draw that same length line, coming all the way down. Close off the bottom with the same angled line. Now we're gonna work our way towards the back of the leg. From this point, angle up towards the right, and pull that straight up underneath the body. Let's go back to the top of the leg. We're just gonna kick this leg out. Coming down an angle towards the bottom of the foot. Go to the outside, draw that same length line. Let's close off the bottom with a straight line. And then we'll draw the inside face of the leg. From this point, angle it in. And then follow that same line going up in behind the front leg. Let's draw the top of the foot by tracing these two lines. We're gonna step up, come down and in, and then follow that line towards the back of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down and in, and then follow that angle line going towards the back. And we're also gonna add a small highlight on the top right corner of each foot. Stepping down, we can draw a small square. Now we're going to move back up and draw the left arm holding the pickaxe. Let's start from the top of the body, angle this down and then out. Flatten off the edge of the hand, straight line coming down. And then follow that same line going back up in behind the body. Let's go back to the outside, angle this up and out. Draw that same line along the bottom. Close off the outside with a straight angled line. And before we draw the back of the arm, let's layer the pickaxe on top. We start right here with a straight angle line. 
and from the ends, angle up and out towards the top. Let's go to the top of the line on the left, angle down and in, and then from the bottom right, angle up and out. Let's split this area in half. And we'll do the same thing from the right side. Start from the top, angle down, close off the bottom, connect these two points with that same line. Now that we have the handle in place, let's close off the back of the arm. Starting from the outside, angle is up and in behind. We'll continue that line, come up towards the head, we're gonna stop right about there. Pull that down and in behind the head. Let's go to the top of the handle, angle down and out on either side. Flatten off the ends. And then we'll trace this back along the top. Going up on either side. And then pull that down and in towards the middle. And then from these two top points, we're going to step in. Got two lines coming in towards the center. Let's go back and draw on the shirt sleeve. Starting from the back of the arm, angle this in, and then follow that line coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll add a small highlight on the bottom corner of the sleeve. Going up, angling this back down, and that's pretty much it. There's Diamond Armor Steve from Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your request in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.